Jersey Champs is a sports apparel brand that creates custom jerseys for all types of people, whether it's influencers, professional athletes. There's a lot of stuff we could do with jerseys. We don't just hit the sports fans, we hit all types of fans. Made custom jerseys for Logan Paul, Roddy Rich, Ezekiel Elliott, Jarvis Landry, Darrell Rebus. This ain't Jersey Champs. <laughs> Turn around for me. Tell me what your name is, Jello. <laughs> and the ones we've worked with on actual jersey deals were Two Chains, YBN Namir, and Young MA, and those all sold out completely. Hi, I'm Sean Kelly. I'm 23 years old. I'm the founder of Jersey Champs, and this is my hustle. I started Jersey Champs in May of 2016 when I was a freshman at Rutgers University. I started it because I really saw a need in the jersey game for other types of designs. Back then you could only get jerseys of your favorite athletes and there really wasn't jerseys of your favorite artists or other interests. So I really wanted to hit that market and just saw a need and went for it. Here we have the Flint Tropics jersey. Clay Thompson wore this jersey before one of his games. It's the Jackie Moon Flint Tropics jersey. Here we have the First We Feast jersey. We did a collab with Sean Evans, a popular podcast on YouTube where people eat hot wings and get interviewed. This was one of my favorite collabs. Here we have a rapper collab, the rapper Russ who's a pretty big rapper. Uh, we did a jersey for his album Zoo. We do a lot of jerseys for charity. This was the charity jersey we did for Kobe Bryant. We were able to raise a little over $50,000 in two days with this jersey. So here we have an example of an embroidery baseball jersey. This is Kakamba's. Uh, I got a custom one with my name and number on it. An example of a football jersey. This is Ray Finkel. It's from a movie and it's embroidered. And I am wearing one of our hockey jerseys. It's a custom Mighty Ducks one with the Mighty Ducks on the front and my name and number on the back. Our best sellers are definitely the basketball jerseys and the jerseys we collab on with rappers and also the charity ones. So you can see more of our jerseys on our website at jerseychamps.com. We're actually in the progress of making a custom jersey for Damian Lillard, the Dame Dollar jersey. I basically DM'd him on Instagram. That's how we get a lot of our influencers. Since we have that big audience, they'll usually respond to our page. The design process for me basically comes down to Sean sending me an athlete looking for jersey and we'll uh, do a little research, ask them what they're looking for within it. Then Sean kind of opens the floor to me and just kind of lets me create based on, on what I've seen online and researched about the athlete or the celebrity that we're working for. For Damien, he was really looking for incorporating not only his basketball side, but also his love for rap and music. So I was able to do a little bit of research, look into his merch line and whatnot, and uh, pull some stuff to really put this one together. Two of my favorite designs for Jersey Champs are actually the uh, two of my most recent. Um, I have one right here for uh, Steve Aoki. Super simple, super clean, but it incorporates two of his uh, merch logos. Um, which is, you know, his silhouette of his face and then the uh, face on the back. Another one of my favorite designs is actually for Tyler Hero. For anyone that knows Tyler Hero, he loves his fashion and is always wearing something that is loud. So that is what I went with for this one. I went with a Miami Vice tie-dye background mixed in with a little bit of a Tron texture and also when we zoom in here, we have this uh, nice floral design that's gradient into the top. Um, along with the Miami Vice look for the front and on the back, and then uh, my favorite little tie into it is I have the Kentucky checkers on the side to uh, give a nod to his college. So um, this one, again, very different from Steve Aoki, but uh, they're both great in their own way. Um, we also have a lot of new and uh, designs coming up, so you guys gonna have to check back to see those. So the hustle was real when I was first starting out on uh, my dorm room at Rutgers because I didn't have any money and I didn't really have any knowledge of what I was getting into. So I had to learn everything on the fly. Like the first year I was working, you know, 10 to 15 hours, some, some days 18 hours a day. 
So we've been able to grow mainly through social media. A lot of our customers come from Instagram or Facebook. We're starting to get into TikTok now as well. And just um, by leveraging influencers we've worked with, we're able to get you know, bigger and bigger people. So when we were starting out, we were just starting out with micro and nano influencers. And now we're able to work with the likes of rappers, A-list celebrities and stuff. And people really trust brands that have credibility. So last year we did $1.2 million. This year, hopefully we can hit $1.5 million. Unfortunately, the coronavirus has impacted our sales in the apparel space. A lot of companies got hit. We're hoping to bounce back and I think we can make that happen. So motivation for me is um, just growing the company and I just pay myself $50,000 a year so I could get by, but I really uh, put the company first and that's always gonna be the way I see it. So just the long-term vision of where I want it to be is what motivates me. I just know that there's two types of people. There's like the talkers and the doers. I try to associate myself with action takers and the doers. So I don't really, you know, entertain people that are all talk. And I just believe you'll, like you surround yourself with success, you'll become successful. So that's definitely my biggest piece of advice. So Jersey Champs has been amazing. It's built so many relationships with me that it's, it's been unreal, honestly. So I'm moving out to LA in a few months and I'm just gonna try to grow the influencer credibility of our brand and try to partner with so many people out there. We're trying to get into events, we're trying to get sponsorships. So there's a lot moving forward that we're excited for. We really wanna hop into esports and see what we can do there. Hey guys, Sean Kelly here. Thank you for watching my episode. Be sure to follow Jersey Champs at Jersey Champs on Instagram and subscribe to Whistle.